So you have a MacBook or an iMac, but you have an Android phone instead of an iPhone. You have some photos or videos on your Android device. You connect it to your Mac and you quickly realize it's not plug and play. On a Windows device, all you have to do is connect your cable to your Android device and Windows is ready to transfer your files. That is not so on a Mac. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Android device to your Mac and transfer files between the two. My name is Chris and this is CSA TechLink. So for the devices, I'll be using this phone right here. This is a Samsung Galaxy S21 and this M1 MacBook Air. Also, I'll be using this cable right here. This is a USB-C to USB-C cable. The MacBook Air actually has a Thunderbolt port, but Thunderbolt ports are backward compatible with USB-C. I'm going to use this end and I'm going to plug it into the MacBook and this into the Galaxy S21. It doesn't actually matter what end is plugged into what device. So let's go ahead now and plug in the devices. So this end is gonna go right here into this phone right here. And this other end is going into the MacBook. So it's plugged into the MacBook right now. And as you can see, nothing happens. So the next step is to go to your web browser. I'm using Safari. You can use Google Chrome or Firefox. You're gonna type in Android dot com and go to that website so android.com is the official website for the android operating system so you're going to click on search type in file transfer do a search click on file transfer right here and then download now it's downloaded right here i'm going to click on it and you get this pop-up window just drag this little Android into applications and it's installed. So you have the option to verify the install by going to Finder and then Applications. I see it's installed there. Now you need to take your cable, your USB cable, plug it into your your Apple computer and your and the other end into your Android phone. So I'm doing that now. I plug it in you'll get this pop-up right here. Let me just close right here. So you get this pop-up right here. This pop-up, you know, just hit open. And you're gonna get another error. This error is because your Android phone, if you have a key code, a password, a pin, or a fingerprint lock on your Android phone, you'll get this pop-up if you haven't unlocked it yet. So just unlock your Android phone. And on your Android phone, there's gonna be a pop-up to allow access to phone data, hit allow. So you have this pop-up. If you don't get that pop-up, just come to the lower corner here, hit this green guy and it will come up. So this is the main drive on your Android phone. And so you have, you have camera, DCM, documents, downloads, and all these folders here, music, movies. On Android, your main drive for your videos and photos and for the photos and videos that are taken with the camera is in DCM. So click on DCM and then camera. So you have the screenshots on everything here, but hit camera. It's going to take a little while right here because now your Apple computer is actually accessing your Android phone and indexing all the files there to displayed right here. Now it's displayed. So if I go here, that's my camera and these are these are everything in my trash that i've trashed and these are the pictures and videos so jpeg are pictures mp4 videos so i'm gonna i'm gonna know for so for you to actually see a picture you cannot double click on it it will not show you have to drag it to your desktop so if i double click nothing happens so i can't access directly from the phone here i have to drag it over to the desktop so i'm gonna drag now that's the picture right here right over here so if i open it now you can see that picture now that came from my phone and the same thing happens with videos this mp4 here so i'm going to click on it drag it to the desktop it transfers over then i can actually access it so i'm going to come to it this is it right here i'm going to double click I know you can hit play. 
So that's how you access your Android files from your Mac. If you like my content, hit that like button, subscribe, share with someone you feel would find it useful. Also comment. Comment on how it is working for you. Did it work for you? Did you find it useful?